Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue homework in student side. Last video, I will show you how to show homework means my homework in student side. So in this video, continue means we need to do like a submit homework. Once student finish the homework, so he click on the button like a submit homework. After he submitted homework, is going to admin side, otherwise going to teacher side, whatever created, otherwise whatever class there inside we can set this homeworks okay so let's start and show you one by one how we can do it so let's go to code and we can do is like a, this button one url after we can create a new pages and after we can create a new menu here like a submitted my homeworks okay so let's go to resources inside views inside need to go like uh, students inside we can see it like homework inside list okay Let's make some zoom out so we can show it clearly. Just go to down and here you can see it like we have created yesterday. New menu like submit homework. We need to provide one URL. It is a simple URL. Just we need to copy student my homework and paste here. And after we can do it like another name submit homework okay so let's create a new routes routes inside go to web.php and just go to student middleware here is the teachers and here is the students so just we can create a new routes and also we need to pass here id so we know which against we need to doing so just we need to pass like another parameter dollar value id okay so let's save and also we need to create a new routes just copy and paste here and also we need to pass like here id and just copy the submit homework and we need to create a new function inside a homework controller so let's go to homework controller go to app http controller inside you can see it homework controller just go down and here we need to create a new function submit homework so let's copy above one and paste here and also we are passing one parameter so this parameter we can pass here so we can get a homework id so i can just provide a homework id and this homework id i can create a new function i think is already their function get single and just pass here so i can get the data about the homework you can see it like a get single function already there so do you want to see where is this model so just go to app inside model inside you can see it like a homework model okay so here i getting the records and here just we need to change to submit homeworks and also we need to here create a new file like a submit okay so let's go to resources inside we need to go to homework again students at homework create a new file submit.blade.php okay i created files now we need to go just admin inside here you need to go like a homework inside you need to copy like add.blade.php just copy all the files and just paste here okay we don't want to need any scripting so just remove the scripting just you can remove the scripting about get class other scripting you can leave it because we need to use here like a text editor so we can summer not text editor we can use so here is already their plugin and also here their codes so we need to use okay description also there and document also there and we don't want to need anything else so just remove the other part like class subject homework date and submission dates we just need to remove okay and also we need to change here like a title submit my submit my homework and also you can change here title submit my homeworks okay so let's save this file and just go back and refresh the page so see it how it looks show just click on the submit homework so you can see it like a submit my homework just you need to upload the document and also you need to write your description after click on the submit so here you are redirect to here and here after not showing this button because you are already submitted your homeworks 
okay so no issue now so just go back again and we need to create a new function for the submission so just we can copy and paste and here we can just change get to post method okay and here submit my homeworks we don't want to change anything same routes work and also we need to make like a submit homework insert because we need to insert inside a database so just insert because of we are using the blank action url this reason you are doing same url here you can see it here okay so what do you want to use a different url so you need to put here your urls i hope now is clear so let's save and just go to like a homework controller inside we need to create a new function submit homework here we already get one id means our parameter request dollar request and let's make here dd request all so we can show it what parameter i get to store inside a database okay so i just save i just go back again refresh the page and i just upload the document like a documents i can upload like this documents and i can type my homework already attached attached okay and i click on the submit so you can see it like a description you can find out also is a document file you can find out and this is the token and also you can see it like uh, our parameter id means homework id so let's go to back to database and we need to create a new tables and this table inside we need to store all the information so just wait few seconds so table is opening And after we need to store like description, document files, and also we need to store like a student ID and created updated dates. So just find out like a schools.com, schools.com. Here we can create a new table like a homework submit. So just homework submit. submits okay here provide a id so auto increment id also we need to provide here like a student id so we know otherwise homework id first we can do homework id and here i can pass like null and also we can pass here like a student id so we know who is a created for this homework also i can pass null here and just add few more column here we can do it like uh, descriptions so this is the descriptions and after we need to add a document file so we can also put document files after we can do it like created it and updated it so everything is good so let's make here text just you can pass here null here you can make where cat 255 nulls also you can make like uh, here like date and time so just we can use date and times uh, also updated at you can also make date and time okay so everything is good now just save these tables so the table successfully created like a homework submit you can see it let's create a model for this table so just open your code uh, my code is there schools.com and i just go inside and I, I can open my terminal and I just write one command PSP artisan make model homework submit submit model I just press enter taking few seconds after the model successfully created suppose I can go to home models inside you can see it like the taking few seconds you can see it like model successfully created let's copy this name and just go up and we can put here after we need to go inside a homework submit models and just copy any other files and, and we can copy this protected table name and put here and i also declare here so i save these files 
also I save these files and just we need to change here like homework to homework submit table submit yes yeah, submit it's perfect now and don't leave a space both sides so carefully okay I save just go downs and I can create a like dollar homework is equal to new homeworks submit models and we just need to add a like a description so homework first of all we need to make a like a homework id is equal to dollar id because this is the id for the homework id let's change the name so we can easily understand okay homework because i made a spelling mistake here so let's sort out this spelling mistake okay so now is good let me check inside database no in spelling mistake yes not a spelling mistake now we need to also provide here like a student id so we know which student is a created so just we can use like auth users id and i have already declared about auth class here you can see it you see so authentication is working very well now we need to do like a student id then now we can do the description so just we can copy above one and paste bottom and just you can use dollar request and just you can use here trim function sometimes you are making space lots of so is a trim automatic remove them okay now we need to do the document file so just go up and just copy for the update teacher whatever do you want to like you can copy and paste here and just you can change here like a homework because here is a spelling mistake i know about that but i have not solved so do you want to solve so you can solve it is a randomly whatever do you want to like you can do it and also i can save here okay so everything is good and after i need to redirect back homework successfully submitted And also we can change here like a URL student slash my homework. I think now is good, no issue. Let's back and we can try is work not work. Okay, so just back again. And here we have already created a new file like uploads inside a homework. So you can see it here like uploads inside a homework. You can see it folders. Okay, so whatever you uploading, so automatic here move the file. So everything is good. So just we need to go back and here we can choose the document and here I can write I have attached document for my homework. Okay, I click on the submit now. So you can see it homework is fully submitted and also you can go to inside browse so you can see it like a homework id so is your homework id five number student id so i log in for this 14 user id and also you can see it like a tags and here you can see it like a document file okay once you can submit the homework so we don't want to show here for this record because you already submitted for the five one we need to create a new table for the submitted homework but we can cover in that inside the next video we don't want to do same video otherwise sometime going to very big video so people not showing all video this reason okay so here is a submit homework and we need to show here is my submitted homework we need to show here new menu but let's make it here is a query we don't want to show this list here so we can do it simple just go back and uh, go to models inside you can see it like a get stuck called students so just go to homework models inside we need to make here is a query so what we need to use we need you to use like where not in so just search in google where not in with two tables in laravel you can search like this select all columns for not another table in laravel 5.5 don't worry about that what just we just need to copy the code so just you can use it anything so you can see it you can use it this line so just copy this line and just you can copy this line otherwise i can show you how we can do it 
okay just we can go and remove this one we don't want to need now and just put here so where not in so means homework.id homework.id we don't want to show inside submit homework dot homework dot id means dash id so here we can do it like a submit homework okay so now it's done but here we need to make another query we need to do only for student wise so let's go back again and refresh the page after i can show you it's working not working so i just go and i refresh the page so hundred per work you can see it like this is one record not showing suppose i can change here like a like a here so we need to need to remove only for this student we don't want to remove like other students what my question what i say so just go back again and we need to pass here new new parameter like a authentication id means a user id so auth users id and just go back and just we need to put here like a here dollar student id and just we need to use here use student id and we can make here like query where homework dot student id is equal to for this student id okay so let's go back again and refresh the page so we can check so I refresh the page. Let's uh, see is any error. I think so. Unknown column where homework. Okay, sorry, because we are not use homework submit dot. Not a homework. Homework submit because we need to use this table. Okay. Sorry about that. I made a mistake. And just go back again. Refresh the page. So working very well, you can see it. But let's change inside database. This is the student ID I can make like 15. Okay. Now I go. So we need to show his record. You can see two records showing because we have a change here student ID. So this is the student ID is like 14, 14. But here is a for student ID like 15. So you can see it. Suppose I can make again same user ID 14 and I can refresh the page. So you can see it here not showing now. Let's submit for this homework okay i can attach any file again and we have attached a, and i click on the submit now so you can see it like homework successfully submitted but here no showing any records because of the you already done everything you can see it why is not showing i already show you where not in with the inside we have created another function and we can checking from homework controller homework submit tables inside we have made like a student id and after we have checked we are not in this is the id homework dot id we don't want to show means it's already there and we need to make another query for this student no need to show so i hope do you have a clear so do you have a question so please comment out i will always give the answer okay so in this video i will show you how to submit homework and next video we can make it here my submitted homework and after we can show submitted homework inside a student side means like a, sorry teach, teacher side and admin side after this is the homework module is completed and we also need to show is a homework in parent side parent side is not taking time because we just mean to, we need to make like a copy paste work so it is a simple way we can do it i hope do you want to understand do you want to not understand so please comment out so i will try to explain everything and uh, do you want to like this video so please like do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching